You're eating 1,500 calories, doing 10,000 steps, and you can't lose weight. Let me explain why. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rabella from ProPhysique.com. And first things first, thank you guys for the great questions. Remember, go to my Instagram, give me a follow, and send me your direct messages. I'll either answer the question there, or I'll try to make a video here if I feel like it's going to apply to a lot of people. And what's really been fun for me is the feedback that I've gotten from you guys. So listen, do me a favor. If you've watched one of my videos and you've gotten some benefit, leave me a comment, guys. That's the gratitude that makes me feel good about putting out this content. Yes, I've been making videos that have a lot of similar topics. Yes, I've been making videos for 16 years. But you guys, I think the questions and the answers are still as relevant as ever. And my audience continues to change. So I want to thank you guys for over 600,000 uh, subscribers now. And I want to continue to provide the support that you guys have been benefiting from. So let me ask today's question and let's get into it. My maintenance is 1800 calories. Now I can't lose weight at 1500 calories and 10,000 steps a day. I tried 1200 and was losing a half kilo every week, but I'm really tired. I'm exhausted all the time and I find it hard to stick the diet after one month. Can I go back to 1500 and do 20,000 steps? Will that solve the problem? Or will I have to stick to 1200 for another eight weeks and then take a two week diet break? Great question, because I think what it, expresses to me is that you are putting a lot of effort into tracking and paying attention to the variable. So I'm going to give you a couple options here. Obviously, 1200 calories is very extreme, very low. And what you said was, can I go to 20,000 steps and, and eat a little bit more? What I would likely suggest that you do, first of all, is instead of doing 1200 calories all the days, maybe you do 1200 calories for five of the days, two days at 1500 calories, see if that helps. Okay. The other option is, let's say you're doing 10,000 steps. You don't need to double it immediately. You could also maybe potentially do 15,000 steps, or I have an even better solution. If getting steps is your only cardio and it's the only thing you have access to, certainly understand. However, what I find is that steps are very low calorie burning. Let's say 200 calories an hour. However, incline walking can be as much as 500 calories an hour. Did the light bulb just go off? You can walk for the same amount of time, burn twice as many calories, and therefore you wouldn't have to change your diet at all. You might be able to lose on the 1500, the 1200, whatever it may be, but this is exactly what... Sorry guys for the interruption, but I do wanna take a moment to just say thank you to Core Nutritionals, who's actually been a sponsor of mine for more than a decade. So if you guys have enjoyed the content on this channel, I don't really ever advertise, I don't ever add sponsors to this, but Core Nutritionals is very special to me. So I would appreciate it if you would consider checking this product out. So they just shipped me this. This is a new promotion to go along with the new Transformers movie. Check this out, guys. So if you purchase this box, you're gonna get three products. One is a protein-based product. Protron. The other ones are the pre-workouts, Energon, and this is the one that I'm actually really excited about called AllSpark, which contains essential amino acids and hydration, which is a core product that it contains a bunch of electrolytes. So you can combine these two in your pre-workout. You also get this really nice shaker. Now, as a final surprise, there's actually three flavors of each of these. As a final surprise, in each one of these products is a limited edition transformer there's 32 in total, so you can collect all of them. And I'm gonna let my kids open these ones. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for Core Nutritionals. This is a very important promotional deal between Transformers and Core Nutritionals. So I wanna support my man, Doug Miller and Core Nutritionals and say thank you. Now back to the video. A coaching experience is like. So when I have an athlete check in with me, I ask for things like adherence, hunger, stress, sleep, performance in the gym. So I'm getting these scores. And based on that, I'm looking at their calories. I'm looking at their cardio. I'm looking at your guys' overall daily routine. And I'm saying, where can I make this process better for this person? If I notice someone's hunger score has gone from like a three to an eight, like getting 10 is the max. And I'm like, okay, this person's really hungry. I notice their sleep is down. Their performance in the gym is down. I'm not going to take away calories because obviously food is a concern here, but instead I might institute a high carb day or two, I also might make sure that we're planning our cardio schedule appropriately, okay? So if 10,000 steps is all you're getting, well, that's a lot of steps in a given day. For some of us, that's just a daily routine. 
But if you're not actually doing any type of cardio that's gonna increase the amount of calories burned over that session, over a walk, well, that's something that you could simply do and have a positive impact right away. The real thing you gotta look at here when it comes to why you're not losing weight is your overall energy expenditure throughout the day because I've heard many people say, well, I dropped my calories to 1200 and I'm not losing weight. How is that possible? Well, sometimes dropping your calories so low negatively impacts your non-exercise activity. Now, for those of you guys that have watched my channel, you know non-exercise activity makes up the greater portion of our calories burned throughout the day than our exercise activity by a long shot. But when that exercise that we do reduces our energy, so your low calorie diet, you're exhausted, you get up and move less. I noticed when I was dieting for bodybuilding shows early on that I wasn't paying attention to steps, I would move less. I would literally plan my day around getting up once or twice versus just getting up whenever I wanted to. I even start to notice things like this, hand motions. You start to really conserve energy. And guess what? The body can conserve some damn energy. So just because you drop your calories doesn't mean you drop your calories burned. It doesn't mean you keep your calories burned the same. This is where wearable fitness trackers can be really helpful. Typically what I like my athletes to do is have two things, their daily step count and their cardio goal, right? I like them to be separate. That way I know, okay, if you're getting 30 minutes of steady state cardio and you're still getting your same 7,000 steps, we're good. However, if I bump their cardio up to 45 minutes and their daily step count drops down to 3,000, I'm going, okay, I bumped one, you dropped the other, we're gonna flatline there. We need to make sure that those steps stay the same while we're adding that increased cardio. The whole point here is creating that caloric deficit, right? We're taking the calories that we're taking in and the calories that we're burning and we're making sure that there's a nice separation there, right? That gap is where body fat is broken down, used as fuel, those fat cells, that's right, they're losing all that interior and they just basically go null. And that's when we notice we look leaner and we have less body fat. The fat cell is still there, it's just got nothing inside of it, thus eliminating it. Okay. Hopefully this answers your questions and remember guys, Instagram direct message or leave a comment below and I'll reply there and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.